All right. Hey, continuing on. This uh, this will be part two of uh, Recompense Tribulation. I think that's what I'm going to name it. I don't know. That's what it might be entitled. But I was briefly talking about this. Let's go here. You know, hey, then they, they carved their damn faces out. And these are a bunch of slave owning devils, man. All of them. See that? And I, and I believe that was uh, it was some ancient, uh, you know, uh, northern kingdom land that they didn't want no, nothing touched. There was something about it. I can't really remember. I'll do the research on it later. OK, because when we say something, man, we always back it up with uh, with uh, truth, research and the Bible, first and foremost. All right. All over the money. Right. The earth is given it to the hand of the wicked. Correct. Let's go here. Second Thessalonians one of verse six, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You see? Then we're going to go this way with it. How about that? All right. Oh, yeah. And what's one of the last thing? One of the last ways they're gonna they're gonna want to trouble us is this. He wants he wants to put he wants to put his his. Uh, it's hard to not say it, but the M O T the C hip in you. Now I typed in Mark of the, uh, of the bees east, right? Now, I'm just trying to you know have my video stay up. It is what it is. All right. And what do you have? The number of his name, which is a man. A man, not an embargo. I don't, I, I'm not even going into that. Not right now. I may have to do a whole nother lesson. Again, somebody's just winging it. It's strange. Anyway, it's 600, six score and six, 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 six. It's right there. Look, it's, that's what it is, right? That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. That's what he wants to do. So unbelievable, man. Let's go here. Oops. All right. So let's go here. You know, since I was going into it, I'll read it. I'll go ahead and read it. Revelation 13, verse 16, man. This is one of the last things that they're going to they're, they're going to they're going to do this. All right. And it's coming no matter what you think. You know, hey, if you if you listen to that group, you know, you know what group I'm talking about. If you listen to that group, man, you better run. Because you got to you got to watch a man that changes his doctrine as the wind. You got to watch that, man. Seriously. There's something wrong with that. Revelation 13, verse 16. And he calls all of us small and great, rich and poor, to receive, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R to the K in their right hand or their foreheads. And it's coming. It's coming. You know what verse 17 says? I'm trying to have my video where it stays up. All right? And, uh, you know, I don't want to take this into uh, a different direction. Anyway, this is part two. It's part two. Ezekiel 25, verse 14 is a recompense. Isn't there a recompense? As, what did it say there in 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 6? Hmm? It's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. It's a righteous thing. We're going to read about it. Ezekiel 25, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. What did that say? Upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. And they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy power. And they shall know his vengeance. But anybody can enter into the gates simply because it only it only said the names. It didn't say it was going to who was going to enter. Oh, OK. You eat them like you're finished. It said eat them. I will lay my vengeance by the hands of my people. Let the high praise. Let's go. Oh, uh, was that? Psalms. Psalms. Uh, where it talks about a two-edged sword. Well, let me go find it. Mm. There it go. Uh, Psalms 140. Yep, Psalms 149 and verse 6. Ooh, let's go to verse. Oh, let's go to verse 4. For the Lord, Yahweh, take a pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. <laughs> Verse five, let the saints, the what? The saints. Didn't the, didn't, the, didn't the scripture say the saints of the most I shall take the kingdom? Take it. 
Let, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the most high power be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. <coughs> Salakia, verse seven. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all the saints. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. It's an honor. Let's go. That's an honor. That's beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Isaiah 34 verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. And behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. That's heavy. Upon Idumia, right? Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? As it says in Isaiah 63. Who is this? Huh? Who is this? The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of the lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. You people are finished, man. You know, because there's a controversy. Let's keep reading. And the, uni and the unicorns shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls. And their land shall be soaked with blood and, the, and their dust made fat with fatness. Verse eight, for it is the day of the Lord Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompense. The what? Of recompense for the controversy of Zion. There you have that Hamite again. You see him? Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah, I had Obadiah open right here. There it is. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. All right, I'm going to jump on down here. Let's jump on down here. It's only one. It's, it's one chapter. Read it. It's beautiful. Read it all. Read the whole everything. Verse 10. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. The violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. You shouldn't have done what you did. Well, you how about Shimei Yawashai had it written? This is his movie. You know, that's why it's called a script. Scriptures. Covering ca a cast. See? <laughs> and when the director says, do this, what do you do? You do it. Verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. They shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be not and there shall be, uh, Salakia, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. They haven't been done away with. Didn't I just, didn't I read in part run? One, I said part run. <laughs> that they may run that readeth it, right? Uh, part one. And what did it say? Esau is the end of the world, right? Well, the world ain't ended yet. New covenant. Goodness gracious. We're going to possess their possessions, even them. Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. And look at this place, man. Is the, Are the trees singing? Is it everybody back in their lot? Um, you know, you know, everybody back in their uh, original estate. Do we have new bodies? Do we still have to worry about, uh, are we still subject to payments? Are we yet to stay in our captivity? Do we still have to go to work for this goddamn devil? You see that? Verse three, man, damn. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that, uh, that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. <laughs> oh man, that's the truth. Wow. All right, hey, we'll close out here. We'll close that right here. You know, I read it in the, in the uh, part one. I'll read it again because it rings true every time, every damn time. Exodus 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death. Yep, you heard it right. Mm-hmm. 
See, again, that's why they don't want to go into reincarnation. Hmm? He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Didn't it say that? Anyway, hopefully uh, these lessons were edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, bishops, all the brothers, man, everybody, all these brothers, man, that are doing this in truth and sincerity. Hey, shalom to you, brothers. All right? All right, this has been uh, uh, Recompense Tribulation. Every chance you get, chant this place down. DTA and Kwam Yashirala, Wa Abiba Ball. Boom! Shalom.